Hello and welcome back to some Let's Stream Civ 6. We just picked our government. Well, I did in my head. We're definitely going to get oligarchy. These are nice. These are nice bonuses, but it's going to be a while before we actually need amenities. Um, I think just having oligarchy is the best for right now. You're, you're only six hours away. Feel free to join us. Nice. Road trip. All right, uh, charismatic leader is the way to go. And then, oh yeah, we need to check in on great people. Let's see, see how we're doing there. Prefer pork on the coals. Three hours at 220, a couple of ribs. Dude, I make amazing ribs. So this summer, actually within within a week or so when I start doing the Twitter thing, we'll, I'll, I'll probably be mostly be posting food pics because I love to grill and barbecue in the summer. We'll just we'll just ogle all the food. It'll be great. Um, okay, what do we want? Builders? I could see builders being good. Or maybe, you know what, we do need a couple more settlers. So let's do that. Let's do colonization until we get our last cities down. Ooh, hey, look for I promise, he promises that I'm not on his level. Challenge, challenge is set. It's true, I do want to lose weight at the same time. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know, guys. It's a, it's a pretty good challenge. It's a pretty good challenge. I like, I like, I like to food a lot. All right, so we've got political philosophy. Uh, one of the things that you want to do with civs that make good districts which are among my favorites so japan brazil australia you want to take advantage of the early policy slots that boost that again um, because a lot of times your campus adjacency bonus isn't all that great uh, and so far our first two are kind of one's good one's not um, but if we get to political philosophy with some decent early campus bonuses it can help start to slingshot you because remember you start way 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 behind um, so you want to you want to run this and take advantage of it early versus in other games I like to get towards feudalism get our builders and our cities up and running I think this game we're gonna go for natural philosophy try to get as many campuses locked down as possible and then from there uh, probably get to guilds like feudalism civil service and guilds um, so that we can have our outback stations but for now, we're going to run after recorded history. We're going to have a cook-off? Dude, let's do, let's do like a chat barbecue. I need a treadmill desk for our streams, indeed. Oh, my God. No, man, I make, I make really killer ribs. So, uh, I don't know. Gauntlet thrown. Whoo. Anybody, anybody want the Petra? Ich verstore meine Feinde und ob ihnen helft auch ich. And we're we're also gonna do um, eventually we'll do like Friday night cocktail streams, where I, where I make fancy cocktails and you guys can enjoy me while I get drunk. It'll be great. Born, you might need to be building another settler. Maybe after the campus, because it's plus three. Really want that Auckland um, suzerain. So as soon as we get envoys, uh, adding adding production to our sea tiles will help our cat uh, our capital a lot. Smoker charcoal propane. How do I make mine? Um, I often do, <laughs> this channel's going places, we're gonna have IRL drink streams, it's gonna be great. <laughs> um, honestly, with the ribs, I do mostly like braised in the oven uh, and then finish them on, on the charcoal for some nice char. But they will be fall off the bone crazy good. Alrighty. 
So again, we get to start with a really nice tile into okay ones, into uh, hopefully this bananas. And uh, yeah, I want to start with monuments. We really want our uh, culture to not fall totally behind. If you remember in last game with Jadwig Jadwiga, Vad Vadviga, I don't know, whatever, shut up. With Poland, we had kind of similar science and um, culture scores the whole game. Part of that was a natural array of culture from tiles, which was really good. But uh, yeah, we want to we take advantage of that. Might need to change platforms, yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a, that is an amazing Petra. Too bad it's not within the realm of possibility this game at all. Come to Germany this summer. Public drinking all week, week long. Yes, please. Sounds fun. Do the ribs with a salt rub for the first two hours. Afterwards, garlic, onion, brown sugar, cayenne smoker for another two and a half hours. Hmm. Is this why your name is Hey Look a Fork? Because you like food so much? Because I, I, I fully appreciate that. So normally with a coastal city you have to rush a granary, but we have plenty of housing because we're Australia, which is lovely. Um, districts are going to be annoying. Do we want walls up here? Probably not. I think maybe if we get a builder and then a settler, we can place districts in a few. This might all, no, he already had it, didn't he? Yeah, he already has those. Do you? Uh, oh, she doesn't have a lot. Well. Oh, Bordeaux is fixed. Name is Hey Look because when you got your original Xbox, your gamer tag in Halo 2, you thought you thought it'd be funny if someone said, "Hey, you were killed by Hey Look a Fork." I appreciate that. I can fully appreciate that. Harbors, yeah. We're not gonna advance, are we? No. Free envoys. So, ooh, construct a campus. Nice. So if we send this guy to Auckland, now, here's the problem. So we don't want their borders to grow too much until we have our chance at getting them. So we want to be a little bit careful about that. I especially want this deer. To 16-year-old you? Hilarious, indeed. Uh, but they already have three envoys, so they shouldn't actually grow, right? So normally sending envoys here expands borders, but yeah, that didn't. And then as soon as we're done with this campus in four turns, we will actually be suzerain, and we will get extra production from our crabs. It's a lovely idea. Seoul has a bunch of units. And uh, they're ahead of us. So we will need our crossbows, I think, in order to take them if we want to mess with that. Which I'm being told I don't have a, I don't have a choice. Do we just do one city here? We're going to have one, two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Guys, do we want one city along this or two? Because we could go here. And basically take all the tiles. In which case we could move this guy down one. Hey, Arya. How you doing? What kind of victory are you aiming at? You know what? We, we didn't really decide that. <laughs> We don't really know what victory type we're going for. I, my my inclination is is to go to space, um, take advantage of the early campuses and things. Yep, Magby. Uh, yeah. So new envoys in city states. That that is how city state borders grow. Um, so Jerusalem has three border expansions, uh, and they have yeah four. So the initial one probably doesn't do anything, and then three border growths. But as long as you're not overriding what's already there, then you're fine. But yeah, so if you if you are near a city state and you don't want them to expand their borders, snipe up the tiles around them and then send them envoys. Uh, yeah, we won with Poland. We we won a our first religious victory in this run with Z Poland. So, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to space these out. I know that most people would probably do something else. But if I, if we put the city here, we, we get a really nice array of tiles and then a really good campus here. Anyone in chat know how to influence your envoy generation outside of policy cards? Uh, I mean, quests? Obviously, if you do quests, uh, when you complete them, it'll recycle and start over and, and they'll, you'll get another quest. Versus if I never actually complete these, they'll just sit there the entire game. So if you want to be suzerain and you want a lot of envoys, complete those quests. Uh, and then based on the government you have, you gain a certain amount of influence points. So having the more advanced governments will give you more and more uh, influence points, which grant envoys. So other than, other than that, it's, it's, social, it's the policy slots. Yeah, I'll probably be one of the few male streamers that takes advantage of IRL streams and we'll do we'll do fancy ones, booze and stuff like that. I also like clothes. So we'll do we'll do fancy style streams. It'll be cool. Trust me. Alright. I think I'm gonna move them down. All right, so if I space him out and go taller, which is my inclination, this guy moves here, starts with a stone tile for growth. Growth here is kind of bad. New quests only appear in the beginning of a new era? Um, I don't think so. I think, I think new quests just time out, don't they? Like, once you complete it, I think it'll just take a few turns and then they'll give you a new one. I actually don't know. That's a good question. There will be fancy streams with our pickies extended to the sky. Indeed. <laughs> it's a good idea. Teach some of these nerds some style. Indeed. It is the era? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There's another... Era, era advancing consideration for people. Hmm. And then once we get crossbows, we can add in lumber mills, which will give our capital a bunch more production. Otherwise, we're probably putting a city here and a city here. Could even go here. Maybe that's fine. Good time to get the quest when you when you jump ahead, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, guys. One or two cities. Maybe we just go for more cities. And get the get the ten. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Possibly eleven. All right, let's pack them in. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll pack them in a little bit more. So I think I want this one first. Again, just opening array of tiles, a uh, little bit of food from the sheep, and then a ton of production. And then we get a double outback station here. Which means we just settle in place. Can't put any outback stations on the hills. Typically have a campus in your second city before the cap. Yeah. I mean, that's not wrong. Because your cap can do a lot of other things. Because they they should have decent territory. They should have decent production. They should be spamming out cities and builders and stuff like that. It's perfectly fine to do it that way. Okay. Geelong. Oh, hi Petra. What a what a useless Petra, Germany. I gotta teach you how to Petra, bro. Uh yeah, we'll totally be friends. Are oh, you good, man? Wow, Germany. No hills. Uh, one hill. Terrible. Terrible. Normal people believe that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, it doesn't have enough features yet. Mm, Kidoki. So, if we move up here to the medieval era, we are advancing. Um... So, did Auckland expand? Yeah. So, they they stole the deer, guys. Because we got a free envoy there. So, they their borders expanded and we lost out this on this deer. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but I would have liked it. But I'm just tile greedy, I suppose. And we can't, uh, we can't get rid of them this game. Alright, so if we go after machinery, we need to lock it in our other campuses which probably means buying this tile because that's a plus six campus oh my god gimme tile addiction is real i know it i know it so that is from appeal high appeal um it means we can't mine either of these for a while, but that's okay. We can get production elsewhere. And you can still work them without the mines. So we're going to buy this. Lock in that campus. absolutely. freaking lootly So again, that's where, like normally you don't have a plus 6 campus. And turning that into a plus 12 campus is crazy. So we can really skyrocket our... Uh, our economy early with it. Okay, before we do that, what other cities are we going to be able to settle? Um, probably going to have to buy some tiles here, guys. I know you're not going to like it, but... Where's... Oh, let's do this. Petra? And all I ask is a nope. tall ship. And a star to steer her by. All right, and then we can also lock in our harbor. It's a pretty darn good harbor. Um, and we have yet another one to lock in, but I don't 
know what to do with it. Um, we know we want the harbor for the trade route, so getting the commercial hub is kind of useless. And you can see our extra production from being Auckland. I mean, that's so good. So stinking good. All right. Hey, looking for Have a good one, man. See you in a bit. All right. Got that one locked in. Where are these ones going to go? So, again, uh, rainforest is really bad appeal. It's uninviting. And the bananas are disgusting. These nanas are disgusting. Part of me wants to go buy this for our campus. Just so it stays that way. So obviously you have anti-synergy with campus districts with Australia, right? Because um, normally you get one science per two adjacent rainforests, but that kills the appeal of the, of the nearby tiles. So that doesn't actually do anything for you. Chop all the rainforests. I don't want to chop all of it. Although there are quite a few hills in here. Thinking about just that. These can get chopped. What if we, uh, what if we triple chopped here? Oh, that's not even a rainforest, are you? It's hills and woods. Damn. Man, wood spice is so good. These roots are deep, my lord. Yes, indeed. Give me them Lord of the Lord of the Rings references. Um, we want to think about doubling up like creating districts here Chichen Itza I wish dude it's almost impossible to get Chichen Itza but yeah Chichen Itza in Newcastle would be sick nasty Watch the Fellowship on Tuesday. It's a golden opportunity, indeed. Fellow, what's your favorite Lord of the Rings, guys? Movie-wise. I don't know where to put their campuses. Oh yeah, this if we if we get Rur anywhere, it's going to be here. For sure. Two Towers, hands down. I do like the opening of Two Towers. Battle of the Helm's Deep. Yeah. All right, all right. You guys are all appropriate nerds. Because obviously Two Towers is the correct answer. Although second half of Fellowship is amazing as well. All right. Let's go after machinery. Are we going to be able to settle this city? If we settle a city here, we can actually put in like two districts. Could put in double campus on these. Those are crazy good campuses. So four turns, no, five turns until we get there. Six turns. Six turns. Maybe we just want to settle this one first then. Still a good first tile. And then we can put in campuses. 
All right, let's do that before we advance. Seems like you Germans like your sugar too there, Cry. Lots of food from your sugar. It's got triple resource there. Haldir's a badass, it's true. Alright, we don't have to lock this anymore. Yeah, see, look how fast this city grew because of the initial opening. They're as big as Melbourne. Now, granted, Melbourne's built as settlers. Use beets for your sugar. Like Dr. Dre beets? Why is Nuremberg just the worst? You don't do this unless you want the Petra. It's just, that's never going to be a good city. Too close. Two, three, four. Those are three. But there's decent land here. A couple of outback stations. All right, it's fine. Let's just settle Sydney. First thing we're going to do is lock in a campus. That's plus four. Did we kill the appeal with our settling? We did. Really? Why? Oh, because we got rid of the forest. We got rid of the forest. Damn. I'm going to redo that. So many things you have to factor in when you're playing as Australia. See you, Ziggs. Enjoy your lunch break, man. You have shown remarkable growth. Once you get Gandalf the White, that's true. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The it's, all, sky above it's all about that opening scene in secrets. Two Towers, though. A with Gandalf falling and fighting. Ugh. That uplifts our oh. hearts. Destroy the Balrog. Six campus on the sheep. Two, three, four, five, six. The poets have been mysteriously silent. On the subject of cheese. Isn't this also plus six? This is plus five. The reason I wanted to do this is I want to as I want to do a district triangle here. So we can do campus, campus, commercial hub. Let's get that in. Did I ever play Civ 2? No. My first Civ was five. Nuremberg is the worst. <laughs> Spelled W R S T. Oh man. You Germans are so punny. I didn't place these districts because I really don't know where they're going yet.
But now we can get lumber mills. Um, we certainly want a bunch of builders. So we have a five turn. Five turn settler. It's going to go there. We still need two more. So this one, two more cities. Is that it then? For now, until we take Seoul. And that's going to get us eight cities. That's pretty good. It's not bad at all. So yeah, okay, you guys are right. So we advanced eras and we got new quests. Oh, hello. Eureka for education. Is that great scientist? See, but they're still send a trade route. So you want a complete quest before advancing an era, it seems. There was a heaven and hell version of Civ 2 included the earth and the third realm. Oh, nice. That is really fun. What's the best German dessert? Ooh. Good question. Okay. Uh, I wanted to check in on great people. Um, so one. Damn, somebody's doing this already. Yeah, we want to get our districts down pretty quick. We're okay. We're fighting for scientists. Um, we did lose one already. But if we can get our campuses down, we'll get our scientists, which are the most important. This would actually be a really nice one to get. Uh, Galileo. So we could get uh, 250 for each adjacent mountain. That's three. So we'd get 750 science. Can we get any more than that? No. One, two. Oh, here we go. Boom. 1,000 science. What up, Story? How you doing? Doing well, man. How are you? Okay, but I don't like German... I don't like the coconut part of German chocolate cake. Sorry, I just don't. There's Petra. Great Petra, dude. Super great. Look at this advantage. Frankfurter crumbs. Cake is a specialty. Here, let's link it. This is from Cry. It's a firm sponge cake in a ringed baking tin. Thick layers of buttercream icing placed between the rings, and then you usually do strawberry, black currant, cherry jam. Okay, yes. Yes. Give me that. Give me that on my wedding. Not that I'll ever get married, but still. Give me that. It seems amazing. All right, so what are our goals right now? We're at turn 92. Uh, we're founding our last cities. It's going to take a little bit of time for them to catch up. Why are you do that, will you? Um, I would also like builders, especially like here to culture bomb, here to culture bomb, here to culture bomb, there to culture bomb. Like we can get a ton of territory with just a few builders and probably, probably buying a few tiles. Yes, I admit. So maybe we'll start builders. How soon are we going to get to, yeah, I'd like to get to feudalism, but I don't think so. We boosted recorded history. Very nice. So it's going to be a while before we actually have feudalism for our extra actions. So I think getting a few now is going to be fine. Most important part is is the strawberry and black cherry jam. Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Two 
Two turns till that one. One turn till that one. Can't swim, though. So this is going to be awkward. How'd Poln Run go? You remember that the map was quite sweet at the beginning? I agree that map was quite sweet, and we uh, we won. We actually had our fastest win yet. It was like turn 228. So. Tart, tart with the uh, buttercream icing. Yes, please. Give me all the things. You know, we could lock in a harbor. We know we're getting a harbor here. For trade route purposes. So these cities are going to have to have commercial hubs if we're going to get any great merchant points. <laughs> Thanks, Story. Appreciate it, man. Uh... Wow, five turn builders. Turns out this city's pretty good. Yeah, this is awkward. a lot of money We're all thinking we have to save that no for upgrades though master. you wish America had a signature dessert we just borrow everybody else's it's true that is true it takes two to three days to prepare oh my god <gasps> dude you're linking me food and this is this is the the key to my heart oh my god That looks awesome. Fix that one even more. So yeah, if you're watching on YouTube and you feel left out, you should. And you should also come join us at twitch.tv slash the game mechanics so you can also ogle German desserts because they are delicious. <laughs> or at least delicious looking. I'll give you that much. All right, what are we going to go after, guys? Um... Probably just education, so that we can get our universities. Yay. And do we settle here or here? I think we here, right? Yeah, because we want this, we want that district, okay. Baked Alaska? I don't even know what that is. What the hell is Baked Alaska? Oh. That looks too sweet for me. That looks like pure American indulgence. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Okie dokie. Um... We finished our campus, could get our libraries going. Although our uh, adjacency bonus is keeping our science within reason. We're, we're slightly behind Germany and Germany is halfway up the, the ranks. So once we finish off some of these campuses, we're gonna feel a lot better. And in one turn we can add in recorded history for some extra bonuses. Okay, so I like that as far as science. We don't necessarily need the library then. I think I'm just going to get some of our buildings. Get that culture going with the monument. No subtlety, yeah. Yeah. We Americans don't do subtlety well. I'd like to beat you over the head with our... Uh, Ideas. Version of past events that people have decided Where'd you get the hanging upon? gardens? Here? Now that's the Petra. 
Just wonder spamming like a bus. All right, let's, since we're pretty much done with settlers, we can get rid of that and take our campus adjacency bonus, which will take our science from 33.3 or 31.3 to 35. And that is only going to get better when these two campuses complete. Guys are mean talking about food. Sitting here drinking my soil like a sap. All right, so we definitely want to get up to guilds. Uh, that involves a sort of long meandering road here, and it will pass both feudalism and civil service. Uh, so which one of these do we want more? Meritocracy is going to make up for a bunch of culture, and this will give us some extra fancy builders. Um, but I, maybe we want meritocracy first, then we can finish feudalism, get our outback stations, and then crank out a bunch of builders. I think I like that idea. It kind of prevents us from beelining some stuff that we might want, including our new government, including mercenaries for upgrades, things like that. But... Um, Getting meritocracy is quite good. So I think that's fine. And was everything else in our government fine? Probably. Could go get scientist points per turn. Could also buy a library. Let's do that. Let's buy the library. Because it, it gets us another scientist point per turn, and hopefully we can overtake. Galileo will be a bunch of science. So I don't want to miss out on this guy. The rest of them are probably don't have a lot of control over. One last German cakes. Link it up, cry. Dude, I, lo I, love, I love food. So we lost our suzerain ship. Of Auckland, which is actually a bummer. Um, education is earn a great scientist. We're not going to be able to do that for a while. But we will do it eventually. So let's just finish mathematics and then reassess education. Because I very much would like to get this scientist. And a free envoy sounds quite good. So we did this war with the city-state early enough that we didn't really lose out on a lot of... Uh, we didn't get we didn't gather a lot of warmonger penalties. Uh, it will be different when we take Seoul. It will be much more painful. Ooh, German cheesecake. That looks pretty magical. Except I can't read that article because I don't know German. All right, more builders. Thinking about chopping. All right, we do need to figure out where these districts are going to go. Probably just coastally for the appeal. Like if we chopped that... Yeah, coastal coastal is good for appeal. <laughs> Change the language to English. No, you do it. Remember we can't improve these copper the copper or stone here. Not yet anyways. Uh, does that, what map type are we playing? This is a small continent map. 
Uh, we've been switching it up a little bit early uh, in the last few runs with uh, Fractal and Inland Sea and stuff, but uh, typically we just play on a continents. All right, we've got our Envoy back. Really don't want them to grow. Their borders. Okay, they added the sheep. Yeah, it's, it's really hurting our new cities if we're going to put that one in here. Like, sheep would have been so nice. Especially, especially if we could have gotten that, bought the sheep, and then culture bombed and taken these two corner tiles. But I can't worry about everything. Alrighty, now. So our new cities can finally get some growth. We don't need to send it from here anymore. I'm thinking about here to Seoul. Either that or something internal for growth. They just need a few citizens, and then these guys will be able to crank out a whole bunch of stuff. You're very welcome. No problem, man. Ooh. He closed his borders to us. I will pay you. I will pay you for it. So we can keep exploring our continent. <laughs> Cry. <laughs> Enjoy a lunch, Quickie. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Okay, um, so, got four scientist points per turn, 50, got our full campus here, got our full campus here, so this is our next source of scientist points, so, if we if we go to education, we lose this quest, which is a quest that we can complete. Uh, what strategy do you suggest for Congo? Yeah, culture or science. Um, they're 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 typically pretty good for a culture run. Anybody that helps you get great people points is good for a culture run. Um, and then science is always like kind of not easy, but easier. So maybe we go find Niter. Or we go up to... Well, that doesn't work. Alright, let's go find Niter. Why not? We could put an industrial zone in. And then eventually change these two mines. Do I have soy milk for lunch? Is it filling? This is uh, Soylent. It's a meal replacement. So it is filling. Um, it's not soy milk. It's just, it's like a meal. It's all right. It's really cheap. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I like it right now. He once wanted to win with science in two turns before finishing the race. Somebody got a culture victory. Wow. That's crazy. Culture victories usually take a long, long time. All right. I think I like this. It's a pretty darn good industrial zone, plus three bonus, plus the uh, adjacency from our capital. We're not going to add. We could, we could do this mine. We're not going to add this mine in for a while. Industrial tanks the appeal? Does it really? Oh, yeah. Well, it wouldn't affect this, right? Because it would just be the adjacents. 
Oh, no worries. No worries, man. It sounds exactly the same. It sounds like I say soy milk. I probably slur my words some too. But I do, we do need industrial zones. This is the part of Australia that it's, it's kind of complicated to play because you have to balance production and things like that with, with just those natural bonuses. So it's kind of a pain. Because we, we put this stone quarry here and it only affects the, the immediately adjacent tiles. So yeah, it wouldn't affect our campus. But yeah, no, you're 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 totally right. You're totally right about that. Could also do something with our uh, with our capital where we like put our capitals industrial zone here for the iron, and then did like another industrial zone here, and then like a commercial hub here. I think that's a little too fancy. Their option is just a commercial hub. No, I like it. I'm gonna get the industrial zone. Also, this um, one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll, it'll. Once we have uh, the bonuses here, it'll affect our capital. As far as uh, like the six tile thing. Like to the apples on the Dead Sea shore, all ashes to the taste. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So we could go to Seoul and get that road. But we could also just go to our capital. Let's do that. Gets us a nice road across a bunch of rough terrain. Pretty much ties them in. Yeah. I like it. It also helped them grow. Mo mostly I want the food here because their food's a little bit starved. Damn it. And we are actually sending a settler there. Culture bomb. Love that. I love that. Override the rice for a decent commercial hub. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about a commercial hub here. Although you can't really take advantage of the adjacency bonuses, especially with something like the industrial zone, because it does kill the appeal. Okay, um, kind of want to stay away from this. All right, so if we're going to space, this is one of our high production cities for sure. And then this is probably the other one. Like any one of these three could build spaceship parts. They could do Rur Valley. So I kind of want to keep the um, campuses away from this kind of like here and down I, I want this to be their territory so what if we just did like a double that's plus the forests are plus appeal so, you, so they could get a decent campus here. Because those add appeal. Keep the campuses away from this base building cities. Indeed. Uh, story says, quite a nice corner of land. Did we have to fight anybody for this? No, we didn't have to fight anybody for this. Yeah, we, we sort of have this whole peninsula to ourselves. Uh, there was a religious city-state here, Laventa, I believe. And we destroyed them so that we could fit in more cities. And then our plan is to probably destroy Seoul as well. 
Although I, I would like the extra science in our campus districts. It's kind of a kind of a bummer, especially since we know several city states are already gone. Oh dear. And that is a Alright, this guy needs to be a crossbow, I guess. In order to kill the pikemen. Almost too peaceful for your taste. I, I agree. I like I like the early wars. Those eggheads don't know how to build things. It's true. Um I guess just this campus is fine for them, huh? Which means we have six turns to do something with. Let's get a granary and then get the campus. Yeah, it's a little peaceful for my start. I very much like, I mean, you saw with the uh, Poland game, just taking over somebody, getting a, getting a capital or another city early is is if a huge is advantage necessity of life recreation is a close second so there went the chichen itza which is all the way up here at guilds so we had zero chance of getting that i don't want to move yet with this guy they have to go together So double campus, get a commercial hub. It's pretty darn good. So trade route. New trade routes. We like those. even ask whether I should buy the tile. Sometimes I get to make decisions on my own. So let's get the trader, the monument, and the lighthouse, I suppose. I relapsed. <laughs> oh, that's true. Such a tile addict. <laughs> All right. Um, I need to double buy this if I'm going to get there. So I guess maybe we don't get there and just put it in a harbor. Could also, you know what? Let me let me let me get a quick galley so we can explore just a wee bit, and then we have major culture bomb. Yay! Ophelia. <laughs> the four building blocks of the universe are fire. They Water, grow up so fast. One moment they sit on your lap, next to you they're buying tiles by themselves. I learned it from watching you. <laughs> That's a pretty nice little tile. Oh, Auckland, I love you. I just wish you weren't taking up so many so many tiles. I'd like you so much more if you weren't taking up all those tiles. Um, all right, so we can improve some tiles over here. Paris, they were they were taking a little bit of damage earlier. Yeah, I think they're just gonna fight Germany all game. 
Look at how many German cities there are already. Ay ay ay. Um, we could go and prove. Ooh, culture bomb. You really do like to fight the French. <laughs> uh, that was an interesting move there, Mr. Barbarian. It's kind of where I wanted to go. I mean, they're just French. Who cares? Don't spawn another unit. It's a very bad idea. There we go. So, what we can do is actually just double move into there. And then we can eat his uh, his fort with our settling. <laughs> oh dear. Please don't. Oh man. Double culture bomb. Triple culture bomb. Still don't think I regret my uh the uh the pantheon choice. I think it, I think it's fine. So you just go bloop, and you say bye bye. Um, and let's just start with a monument. I can't afford to buy more tiles. It's a plus six campus. Holy cow, did we override that? Because there's a forest there that gives us the extra appeal. Plus six campus. Duh. Harvest the stone for a district, yeah. One, two, three. Technically would be able to work them from our potential Ruhr Valley city. Decisive victory. Yeah! That scout action. It's up to 40 science. We're keeping up with Germany. It's not great, though. Because we're the bottom three. This this continent's in the bottom three of the science race. So let's go to Melbourne. So that it adds a, a route here. Close enough here. And then ties in Melbourne. Check in on our great person. 41 turns. Oh, dear. We're, we're actually behind again. Somebody is killing us. But we have one turn till we complete that one and seven turns over here. So that is fine. Should probably be able to make up for it. We might even buy a library or something like that. 
And then now we're going to start another campus. I think this is fine. We're not, uh, I mean, we could chop that. Yeah, we, we've got this guy here. So why don't we do that? What are we going to chop for, guys? Chop for a battering ram? We do still want to go fight, right? Maybe we chop for another builder. Chop for walls, yeah. I don't feel threatened. I really don't. I mean, our military score is still good, and he's our buddy. So I really don't feel super threatened there. That is a sound that scares me. Where are you? Where are you, Barb Camp? Right there. All right, we're okay. Germany's problem, not mine. What's up, wild player? How you doing, man? Good evening to you. For walls until I do. Yeah, yeah. I think it's okay. They're growing soon and could potentially put in another district. So we've explored our whole continent. And then we'll chop finish that off and lock in a campus. Could always save this builder too for when we have the extra charges. I don't know that we need the builder this very second. Um, boy, you guys need to grow. Do that one. Yeah, did it wrong. I guess we have to click the food button if we want to do it. Australia's so strong. Maybe a quick recap. Um, sure, bud. We settled here, um, which was a one move. Got a kind of a low production cap, but we picked uh, production from fishing boats as our pantheon. So it was our first expansion, which was quite nice. Um, we defeated and raised a city-state over here. We went and forward settled up here. And then we sort of backfilled these cities. And we're just kind of teching up at the moment. Uh, Germany and France are up here fighting. So poor France is having a rough go at things. And we are sort of in last place for science, but not by much. And our science is coming along. So pretty, pretty peaceful, easy-ish game. Um, our plan now is to probably attack Seoul and get a couple more cities in there. The possibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Yeah, we're exploring. We've got a galley. It's obviously not doing a whole lot, but. All right, let's check in on this. There's got to be something better to run. Um, Honestly, those scientist points would be nice. Y player always reminds me of that. So we can take one turn for mysticism, get a free envoy, and then run the scientist points. It's probably better than anything else we have. We'd very much like this great person. 
We're, we're, we're fighting for this, so just getting an extra two for free, I think, is a good idea. Soul's bonuses aren't that good. You get a free Eureka whenever you advance a new era. So, I mean, so we're going to get one, two, three, four Eurekas, five. I mean, I think I'd rather have the cities. Basically need the space. Although we can settle that one without destroying them. Guess we should do that. Get, get that city down, and then maybe this one. Maybe leave Seoul. It's interesting. Welcome back. Hey, Black Foxes. How you doing? But it would be nice to have a uh, scientific city-state. 30 turns. I think I'm just going to buy this. Buy this, let's remove, and let's start a campus. Uh, friendship is expired, let's do it again. And do you want any of my stuff? Probably not. We have like the exact same resources. Oh, okay. Sure. Any trade is good trade. Hundred and twenty nine. I mean, we don't really need it, so I think just in the interest of trading, keeping our relationship going strong, let's do it. 235, you got it. Let us live in peace, lol, yes, indeed. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got decent science. It's, it's not bad at all. Turn 113. I, it, it could be a lot better. Frankly, we need Mysticism meritocracy for a mistake, culture boost. An accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. All right. That should hopefully get us the scientists, which can help snowball us a little bit early on. Um, we still have no merchant points, no engineer points. Everybody wants to be friends with Germany. You won two world wars. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Just in the, you, you won two world wars the same way that the South won uh, <laughs> the Civil War. All right, so let's go get civil service. I very much want to run meritocracy. We, we have no way of boosting our culture, especially since we did take the production pantheon. And we have envoys, which I think are savable. Yeah, we might want to leave Seoul, guys. Unless we find another really good scientific city-state. We might just want to leave them alone. I mean, this is a nice harbor. Like, this is a good city because of sea resources, but... I don't know. Might might not need it. Might be better to have the two science everywhere. Is this advancing us? No. Good. Outback Station plus Petra's free win. I know, right? 
Problem is, Germany built themselves a very crappy Petra over here. The more science intervenes that in warfare, all this great Petra territory we'll could have done it here. The field armies. Nope. In the Petra late there. War, there were never enough sappers at any time. Alrighty. Um, so, Niter? We didn't get Niter? No Niter. Niter down there. Wow. Okay, well, so musket men are pretty much out of the question. Let's get shipbuilding. So I do want to see if we can find another city-state. Can decide what to do with Seoul at that point. Oh, I think this is Mr. Warmonger. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet that, uh... So let's send the delegation for relationships, and let's look. Huh. Plymouth. Who is this? I don't know. Surprised we didn't meet Cyrus yet. Indeed. Indeed, dude. Oh, I can upgrade in Auckland's territory because we're suzerain? That's interesting. Oh, I could have culture bombed here. Damn. That would have been nice. Let's check it on this now. He's got admirals, engineers. Oh yeah, where's he on the rankings? That's what I want to know. He's not the one fighting us for this. But yeah, we should be able to get that great scientist and get the free envoy up here. I think I like that. Two turns, these guys can embark and go explore the world for us. Could also buy this and uh, culture bomb. It would be a Nice chunk of territory. Like, this culture bomb is worth so much. <laughs> I want to so bad. So it's 165 for the tile. And 310 for the builder. I'm going to do it. We could just finish that one. Four turns, that's 12 turns. Then we can buy that. Yeah, that's, that is good. Won't culture bomb all of them? Even... One, two, three. So it won't, we won't get that one. But we should get the rest, right? We'll miss out on one forest. But this is within our territory. These definitely are. And then this is in Hobart's territory. So it should get all, it should get most of them. God, I wish we could have gotten that sheep. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause a ship to founder. Modern shipbuilding has gone beyond that. Okay, we can explore. Oh. Just kidding. We have to get cartography. 
right. Okay. So we can still only do shallow. Well. <sighs> 13 turns for the scientist. And that's just going faster and faster. Don't know if it has to be contiguous. Yeah, we'll see. It'll be it'll be for science, guys. We'll figure it out. Well, so getting to industrialization does involve this whole part, and education isn't holding us back too much yet. So let's go after cartography. Although we do have several of our campuses intact. Ooh, gypsum. Some gold. How about everything but open borders? Sure. Ooh. Lost our suzerainship. Build a lumber mill seems achievable, indeed. Yeah, we will we'll be able to boost mass production for sure. Um, and we do want Auckland back. Damn, I don't want to lose more tiles though. Especially with this city coming down soon. They've already lost a bunch of stuff. Really kind of blows. Science rules indeed. I love science. All right, well, with civil service, um, really would like meritocracy. This is really, really good right now, though. So I guess we're just giving up those. Twenty-five to 30? Yeah, 31. All right, and then from there, we're going to go after guilds. So that when, once we have our outback station, we can run feudal or serfdom and uh, get a bunch of these outback stations going. From there, we'll go up to exploration for our next government. I wonder if we could do this with just eight cities. Oop, amenity issues. So five turns, this will time out quite, quite nice. Okay. Now what? This would be nice for an extra trade route. It's pretty far though. All right, so at this point, this, the lack of universities is holding us back a wee bit. I'm gonna start their builder. No, not yet, not yet, not yet.
Uh, how do we boost this? That's a good question. Yeah, we're definitely not going to have the farms. Build two markets. It's pretty far off. So it's not going to not going to get boosted. All right. Um, speaking of commercial hubs, it's a pretty good one. Although we want them to have an industrial zone. So if I were building an industrial zone and then eventually Ruhr Valley. Can't do it down here. Could do it here. I guess just here. So industrial zone, Ruhr Valley. Or industrial zone. No, I can't do Ruhr Valley there because it's too close. Oh, you mean the later later game bonuses? Um, good question. It is... Steam power and rapid deployment. What are you saying, Y player? Where would you? I, I, I don't think so. I don't want to kill our campus bonus yet. Not until we have the Enlightenment. Once we have the Enlightenment, I'm fine building mines and getting rid of our adjacency bonus. Also, Alexander is in, the, is in first place, and we have more science per turn than him. So that is good. That is very, 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 very good. All right, so I am thinking... I'm thinking this. And then that winds up being our pretty much our most important city. They're going to need to grow. So let's start the industrial zone. All right, let's see for science. Nope, just the two. Well, that's dumb. Should have gotten this one, too. I mean, it's still good. But not as good. Oh, well. Okay, I didn't mean to actually do this. Try for the Colossus. Do we need the Colosseum this game? It's really hard because we're so spread out.
That's kind of our best Colosseum, I think. Why is a great lighthouse better? I mean, movement over water is fine, but if you're not doing mili if you're not doing uh, combat, it doesn't matter. The free trade route would be nice. Oh, these are our oh my god! The whole world just opened up to me. There's a government lens. Wow. Wow. Wow, we're actually working these tiles. That's embarrassing. Need those Outback stations so, so fast. Do this. <laughs> I, I I am quite excited by, uh, by the lenses. I didn't know that they they were at my fingertips like that. It's amazing. Okay, I really want this. So oh, we're nine turns away already. Son of a gun. Try for it. Let's just see. It's one we rarely get. I know we need the builder. I want feudalism. I want to run. I guess we could switch in a couple turns. I want to delay it though. Two turns for our builder. I, I certainly want to switch to feudalism if we're going to get a bunch of builders. Gold equals tiles. So let's do three turns on each of those, I guess. All right, you need a campus. Is this better? What do we get if we go here? Very poor food supply. If we had these tiles open to us, this would be the obvious choice, but we don't have spices anymore. Sheep and bananas are gone. If we go over here, we get a bunch of wheat. We get the ivory. The Wonder World boost appeal? Oh, true enough. Could go over here for the harbor. Oh, if we could grab those spices too, that would be money. It's just so awkward. I think it's here. Oh no, <laughs> since since you started watching me, you find yourself buying more tiles. Sorry, dude. Uh, 
thing about addictive behavior is it's contagious. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault, guys. If we do this, or I guess they could just start builders and we could get our serfdom builders out there. Newcastle needs districts. I know. I know they do. They need a bunch of districts. Oh. <laughs> Alexander got the Colossus. So that's not an option anymore. Could try for the lighthouse. <laughs> uh, tile buying isn't inherently bad. It's just not always the best way to spend your money. Told you should have built the lighthouse. Yes, yes, yes. I missed your know-it-all attitude, bud. You're all wise and all-knowing, and everything you do is correct. Um... Theater Square wouldn't kill us. It's not good here. We just don't have the appeal. All right, well, we can try for it. I don't see anything else doing anything else that'll be productive, really. Dovreste prestare attenzione a ciò che va accade dintorno. Credetemi, vi sono fin troppi giochini che stanno avendo luogo. Doesn't get shushed. I I I I shame him for being a know-it-all. I do it all, I do it a lot. Definitely not playing favorites. So this is more of a temporary solution, but I want the extra good tiles to be the food base because I need their population to grow. The only thing holding up this city is uh growth. All right, so we can briefly run. I'm actually going to keep the science going. We're going to briefly run serfdom. While we get to our outback stations. Work the marsh. Eh. All right, so we can get two builders here, which is good because we need a bunch of outback stations. We have 12 turns to get as many builders as we can. Um, yeah, you're not going to be able to help. You're too new. Uh, again, I think I'd rather have them finish the campus. That kind of times out perfectly in order to get one. But I think they need to get two. Um, you know what? I'll just build them over here in Newcastle. There. All right, so that gets us as many builders as possible. Hey, I am Pierter. Picked up the uh, Stellaris DLC this week. Nice. Greetings and salutations as well. I don't think you do get gold 
when uh, when it when somebody builds a, a wonder from out from under you in this game. That was a Civ Five mechanic. I don't th I don't think that I haven't noticed that in here, anyways. Five turns. How'd the previous game go? We w we won. We definitely won. Let's do that. It was a fun Polish kind of victory. So this is worth what, 10 science completing that thing? Oh yeah. Very, very nice. They do not have time to get a builder. Um, I don't really want to work the marsh. It's fine to do it this way. You're spamming builders like you need them. Yeah, we do need them. Okay. Um, speaking of needing things. I think we need more than just the library. All right. So let's see, road-wise. We're pretty good. Maybe I send one to Perth and we can run over to Newcastle. That'll give us the last sort of remaining needed roads and then also give them some growth that they need. We're not getting the lighthouse at the moment. Yeah, no golden Civ 6. Yeah, see, I, I didn't think so. I, I think you just kind of get screwed, which makes sense. I mean, I think it's fine that you don't get a bunch of gold. <laughs> Thanks, Y player. Good to have you on the team, man. This is a small continents map, as usual. Fine, guys. We have Townsville. <laughs> and I'm going to buy them a monument because I need the borders to grow. I'll be cursed for the next 10 years. You disagree considering how expensive wonders are in Civ 6? I mean, it's true. They are very expensive. Um... I, I can understand that, but I also think it's fine. Because if you do you get the wonder, they're, they're really good. They're really, really good. Um, all right. You're going to go... Down there. We can go to Newcastle all the way to... Wow, really? Oh, it's only worth six gold. Could go all the way to Seoul for the science, but really we just want the growth. Uh, only one, though. Still, I think one is probably worth... Gets us the road we need as well. I think it's fine. My curse will be that every tile will be five gold more expensive. <laughs> it's a brutal it's a brutal curse. <laughs> That's a brutal, brutal curse. Yeah, we're 
we're starting to hit some amenity issues. So education in four turns. And in one turn, we're going to boost it with a great scientist. Good. Perfect. Yay. And that gets us another envoy there. And this guy gets to come over here. Transfer. Am I planning on the, building the Eiffel Tower? I'd love to. If we get the opportunity, we'll definitely uh, consider it. I think mostly I want uh, mostly I want outback stations here. Although I guess they'll need this as well at some point. Because the appeal thing. Yeah, I mean at that point though, um, it, while it will help and is is certainly a good wonder for Australia. We're going to have a lot of minds that are going to kill that appeal an bonus anyways. To be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. All righty. So, we want Ruhr Valley as soon as we can. And there's no better one I'm missing, right? We don't get better than 4 adjacent mountains. No. Three. Three. I think that's... That's pretty much as good as it's going to get. We'll advance arrows before Ruhr. That's true. So let's get let's get these, and then we can. Uh, we're, we're lacking a few districts, so yeah, we can wait just a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna food focus you. Get them to grow. Um, well, that's true, but how much is a thousand science? We're going to get both of these. That's true. We will advance. We could get to Ruhr Valley instantly. That's a good point. All right. Um, can't lock any districts there. Can't lock any districts here. Uh, we can lock one here, which I was thinking about the entertainment complex. It's also obviously a very good commercial hub here. But then we have to get rid of the forest, which will hurt the appeal. Always have to be juggling that. Yeah, I'm thinking about that entertainment complex. So if we put the entertainment complex here, put the Coliseum here. Coliseum has to be on Flatland, is that true? Must be adjacent to entertainment complex. So we're okay. You guys are wrong. I'm going to shame you. You're terrible. You don't know how to play this game. Uh... Just kidding. I love you guys. All right. Let's do that. We're 
We're locked in there. I really don't know what districts, if any, to build here. It says it in the description. Oh, you are right. Must be built on flat land adjacent to an entertainment complex. Son of a bitch. Why doesn't... That's that's some of the stuff in Civ that drives me up the freaking wall. Have some consistency with that. So yeah, you're right. I can't do that. Chat was wrong. Comments. The flavorito. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you take back bits? <laughs> I will shame you. Well, shoot. Then we don't really get a good... I guess it would have to go over here. <laughs> GM was wrong. Comments. <laughs> you guys are assholes. I hate all of you. So I guess this is the best one. Six. Yeah, I think that's all right. So if we built the Coliseum here, we could... Now it, it's eating up nice out, outback stations. All right, let's load that turn then. <laughs> I No, seriously though, I don't understand. This game has been out nine months now-ish. Like, why is there no consistency in the way that those things are said, displayed, whatever? Like, sometimes it says it in the description, sometimes it's on the list. Like, it should always be both. Sometimes New it's like, this is your unique forth, unit. Sometimes it replaces something. To flowers of fire in the Makes sky. no sense. Even the quiet words on newly printed pages hold great changes within. The world, once so vast and mysterious, has grown smaller and more familiar. Like in the Yet, current era text? There are always questions to be answered. Faith to be tested. Why do I have to lock in all the current era text? Don't I just want the boost? Don't I want to get to industrialization? I think I do. All right, well, then I guess they're getting a commercial hub here and we can do double commercial hubs. That way it's locked in. You were good. I don't know what to do with you. You could also use some districts. Are those reasons enough to believe in your predictions? I haven't seen reasons. I rarely see reasons. I just get told that I'm doing things wrong. <laughs> um, all right. I want their campus here. Don't I? Does it matter? You, you just, but you just, you just say what to do. You often don't have reasons, dude. So when you ask me if your reasons are good enough, the answer is no. <sighs> These are all... I just want this. They get a campus and we lock in their harbor. They still have another slot open. I 
I think that'll have to be enough for now, unless I lock in an industrial zone. Which could go... Here. All right, there are your districts, Newcastle. Hope you're happy. <laughs> I do have the money for once. All right, um, does that take care of most of them? have a really good industrial zone. I guess this. I guess that's fine. I'm not going to lock in the other one. Let's just leave it alone. All right. Um, so that is all locked in. This dude gets to do this, which is going to advance us. We're locked into industrialization, which is more than enough. So we're not even going to hit it. There is little man has made that approaches anything in nature. But a sailing ship didn't even finish that one. Yeah, I mean, I do want this commercial hub to exist, but mostly I want uh, to chop this. And I guess we could do that in time, because we're not actually going to advance for 10 more turns. So, all right, let's buy a builder. Boosted castles. How fancy. What can be labeled, packaged, mass produced is neither truth nor art. Um, so do we get universities now? We have five turns until we want to switch back. You like castles in Germany. I like castles in the United States. We just don't have any. Okay. Poor puckers, indeed. Life is hard. Again, I don't want to do I don't want to do these. I want to keep my campus adjacency bonus going as long as possible. Came to the scene a little late for castles. That's the true. When you go to Europe, it's like uh <laughs> Thanks, Zygmunt, for your Star Wars quote. Um, when you go to Europe, you're like, wow, everything here is old. <laughs> and it's amazing. Does this hurt anything? We 
You're just gonna spot out movie quotes whenever you join chat. I like that. That we need more of that in chat, frankly. Whoop. Money. And pearls. Alright, so we have finished routes. I think we have all the roads we're gonna need. The only one we don't have is this poor this poor city. It's gonna be so awkward in here. Really, really is. Oh well. We're just gonna let Townsville do its thing. <laughs> Pillage fishing boats? No. Good thing we have all these builders. Damn. It's really annoying, Caravel. Such a grand entrance. Dude, absolutely keep it up. Yeah, now they're growing. Five citizens, good. Good. Um, all right. I'm just going to chop and get a mine here in Newcastle. Lock in a theater square between city center and where? Oh, in the rear? I don't really want a theater square. I just don't feel like we need it. So they have no growth going on, but we're gonna fix that in a second. Actually, get a lumber mill there. Lumber mill's on the river, not too bad. So I'm just gonna run this so that they grow. I've got three more to citizens that we can get, and each one adds in a bunch of production. Sorry, a Rome game on your lunch break? Just to mess around. You're getting your butt kicked by Cleo and three barb camps. Yikes. Are you playing on Deity, Zygmunt? Because that sounds brutal, dude. They need a granary for sure. And then we can worry about the science stuff. Our science is taking off. Is Alexander still in first? No, he is not. Somebody's actually ahead of him. But we're very much ahead of him, so. Uh, we could also go ahead and friend up Soul a little bit. 
Especially since we're not really competing for tiles. So this would uh, increase our science a wee bit, since we have a bunch of campus districts already. Early game that sucks on deity. After that, it's not so hard. Yeah, which is ma which makes you know makes that the, kind of the most interesting. There you go. You can grow a little bit now. Tundra, man. Kills your food. Remove the marsh. This marsh? Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. So we swap that away, and then we give them some instant growth. That's brilliant. stations really get a couple Shouldn't have killed our bonus, right? Yeah. So lumber mills are fine. It's the mines. Fishy repair. <laughs> this repair is a little bit fishy. Come on, Soul. Deal with the caravel. All right. I guess we're leaving Soul. All right, Outback Station hype. All right, do we want to buy, how many builders do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we've got plenty of builders. And now we just do these. Boop, boop. Such good tiles. And we don't have to run serfdom anymore. We can go back to meritocracy, which is exactly what I want to do. Get them a builder. That's true. We could send one of these new ones up there. Frankly, this guy could go up there. We've got plenty. Plenty, plenty. All righty. So we really want to get to the Enlightenment, but we have to get our next uh, government. It's just too good to keep passing up. We should get there reasonably quick. Okay, so that belongs here. We can remove the marsh. They grow again. 
Every time they grow, we're happy. Outback Station, so good. Like one food, one production on a plane's goes from just nothing tiles to completely viable. Then we build a triangle with them, and yeah, just really, really good. All right, um, Barb Camp just spawned. Probably not in a place where it's our problem. That one's still there. I think we're okay. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. Love the Outback Station improvement. It is so good. So much production. Whoa! Okay. That's gone. Chop, build, mine in Newcastle. Where's Newcastle? Yeah. It is true. And then these guys are going to get ready to chop for this beautiful wonder. That is fine. So no Outback Stations in Tundra. How good would an Outback Station be on these? Ugh, so good. But alas. Alright, so they're working good tiles now. Let's take a look at production and things. Yep. I'm back next to the horses. Ooh, yeah, you're right. Forgot we had horses there. So then these will improve each other later on and gives them a decent uh, tile base to work with. So Rockhampton doesn't have to suck. Not happy to see that my civilization is currently at peace. What a dick. All right, so that guy's running off. Yeah, we could go ahead and chop. Chop for mines. We have one wasted charge here, so let's get an outback station. Then we can go chop. All 
want to improve. Yeah. I mean, do they really need food? I'm um, I'm housing capped. Like you could get an extra production. But they don't really need the food. Hello, industrial era. Ooh, yeah. That coal, though. So, let's see. Two turns till we're done with this. And then we have to have the workshop and the factory. We're going to see if we can buy those and start Ruhr right away. Which means we should maybe... Um, Oh. Hmm. All right, that makes me nervous. Even though these two aren't much of a threat, we, we do need to consider the fact that we are grossly undermanned militarily. at cavalry. Oh, I hate that they encroach. This is my job. I don't really need the tiles, but still, it's annoying. They, on the other hand, can definitely benefit from a water mill. All right, so we have our sweet, sweet wonder opportunity. And we just made our their mines even better. So these mines are pretty good. Yep, improved their production even more. So I think the move is chemistry. And chemistry will advance us another era. So let's cut it off at sanitation. The other thing is military, but um, I guess it does matter. Maybe we should get our field cannons. We should get our field cannons. Well, I'm an Australian. Can't we have the US swoop in to protect us? I think currently our country doesn't like Australia. I don't I don't know how our country feels about anybody to be honest. Um do we just chop now and and live with the overflow for the future buildings? I don't think so. University's 900. We're going to need so much gold. Let's keep trading with them. I'm very nervous. Maybe we can pick up a luxury we don't have. He likes elephants. It's cool, dude. No questions asked. Enjoy your elephants. She has nothing that we want. Yeah, she has... N Ugh, poor Catherine. Um... <laughs> That's true, Zygmunt. Who doesn't like elephants? Indeed. I just, I just was, you know, wondering about the specific reasoning behind elephants, but, you know, whatever. 
No judgment. God, the Outback station's good. This is our second city and they're only population five. That seems not correct. Turns with Alex are worthless, nowhere where to compel them. That is a good point. That is a perfectly good point. Don't want to buy tiles. Could get an okay industrial zone over here. Is this even worth it? Probably not. Tundra deer? No forest tundra deer? Ugh. I would not have gotten to the lighthouse seven turns ago. That is. If it's not this lighthouse, was the sign not true. of all eyes. We would not have saved half the production on the lighthouse. Lumber mills in Perth. Which one's Perth? Um, that's true. These are pretty good lumber mills. I was thinking chop. But, yeah, pretty good tiles. So we get some extra movement for our naval units. Doesn't really impact us at the current moment, but not bad to have. Um, this is nice. So we can get some extra production from our harbor, finally. But I think we want our university first. Uh, and we also need to get to civil engineering. Ugh, our culture's bad. How many do we have? We only have one envoy. Not really a point in using it at the moment. That's just not worth it. Adding a gold. Nah. In max, those are three production woods. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, but if we chop them and add in a mine, they're they're quite good. But yeah, I think I think you're you're right. They're better off because uh, there'll be one food, five production. Versus what are these mines? One food, five production. So it's the same. It's the same difference. You just miss out on the chop. Ooh. Mmm, coal. You, you can get a good industrial zone right here. That is definitely something we're going to do. Same thing, save a chop. Yeah, that's true. But help amenities. Uh, I mean, it's a bonus resource. I think our amenities are worse off than that. One... Two, three, yeah, we're three shy. What we really need is, so five turns, and then we'll put down the entertainment complex, and then maybe Coliseum. If we put the Coliseum here, does it change anything? One, two, three, four, five, six. Coliseum here is one, two, three, four, five, six. nope. Nope, nope, nope. I mean, the Coliseum's gonna go in here somewhere. It will help, although not as much as it normally does. It'll basically provide amenities for three cities. The other option is these three cities, but either way. 
We're just so like spread out. We're so like long and lanky. It's weird. Uh, and I'm a duck. I don't know when you followed, but thank you for the follow. If you're still out there, I didn't hear it. I didn't see the notification. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to exclude you. I do appreciate the follow and the support. You're obviously a good person. Let's finish that. I guess the amenity we missed out on was the pearls. Five plus four industrial zone. I mean, we already have an industrial zone for him. Yeah, that 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 would have been better. But how long are Friday streams? Uh, a couple more hours. Oh, cry! Shush your face. I only have one low population city. Everything else is fine. Hmm. Fifteen population. You're the only one getting shushed. <laughs> it's cause it's cause I I like you the most. <laughs> All right, so damn. I guess we don't have money to do these things. So we just have to queue them up. The ADD sets in. <laughs> yeah, everybody should go check out Zig's stream later. What are you streaming tonight, dude? I mean, they do have two good farms. I want this production, though. <laughs> Fine, I will build you farms. You needy, needy people. There, are you happy? Did that, did that fix everything? Are we even working it? No. Did it change our housing population? No. But we did it. Dawn of War? Cool, man. Switching it up. Dawn of War, Stronghold Crusader, and some Civ 5. So in three turns we grow. You know, if, if they can just feast off of Colosseum production, life will be pretty good. It's a little bit too far apart. Need the second farm. For the housing cap, I mean, fine. 
I'll do it for you. I don't feel like buying tiles. Probably gonna have to buy the one for the Coliseum. So let's just start their library. You love successful Civ 5 streams? There's a dude that plays Civ 5 like every day. I don't remember his name though. It's pretty good. use even more builders, frankly. The real use of gunpowder is to make all men tall. All right, so let's see. We've got 18 production here and only nine here. So we're definitely gonna build the Coliseum here. We've got such a good commercial hub, but we need the amenities. That's our main issue. Uh, I don't want to buy these stinking tiles. So they have all the mines, which is good. I think that's fine. That way they grow in less than a hundred and some turns. Changes their production by four. So the cattle locked here, I, I want it to be locked. Still didn't change the housing. Five turns until we can start River Valley. <laughs> Grow in three turns, that's fine. Watermill, good. Good job, Townsville. You and your very unique and clever name. 
Sam, that's who I look like? Wait, I don't even know who that is. Sam. Really? Interesting. I wish I were a drummer. Then I'd be in shape. No! Oh. I don't care about Suzerain of Seoul. I do care about Suzerain of Auckland. A lot. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have a, a, a direct celebrity doppelganger. Not that I know of, anyhow. Yeah, I know we can get on their ship. Scout's going strong, though. We just need him to meet somebody new. We need him to get out and meet new people. Germany is trading with France. Paris has just had is such is a rough gold. game. Often have you heard that told. Yeah, exactly. We need the scout to be social. Go meet friends. Um, let's check in on our great people. Who have we missed? So since our last scientist, we lost out on a merchant and an engineer to Alexander. But we currently have the most. Yeah. These don't concern me that much. Somebody's going to get this. And that somebody is us. Good. We're killing it on great scientist points. Um, Melbourne does need a factory because then it'll extend to these two cities, which is quite good. Germany, are you sure you don't like me? Ha ha! We have a friend! Could also do an alliance. Is that worth it? Not that he's going to be in a position to help me if Alexander decides to wreck my face. Which is always a possibility. He's all the way over there. So our most vulnerable city is kind of Newcastle, but they have wall or they have cliff walls. So they were warring, made friends, and are now trading. Lovely. You my gosh. I'm weak in espionage. All right, this is a good spot. Makes a great and massive shield, and he forged on because the I say so. Two noble for cut in the video. So, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. The next episode will be up shortly.